Hello everyone, this screencast is going to show you how to use the least common multiple to compare fractions. I have two candy bars here. They're hidden how large they are because I want to compare them at the end. But I have a candy bar that's three-fourths and a candy bar that's four-fifths. What you want to do is you want to take your two fractions and you want to list the multiples for the denominators. So I'm going to list the multiples for each denominator. For 4, I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And for 5, I have 5, 10, 15, 20. If I stop here, I can see that they share a common multiple of 20, and there's nothing nothing smaller than that. So the least common multiple is 20. This least common multiple is going to change into the least common denominator. You're going to change your denominators to be out of 20. You're just changing the form of the fraction. You're not changing the the quantity of the fraction or the size of the fraction. So 3 fourths if I'm changing the denominator from 4 to 20, I'm multiplying it by 5. You also multiply the numerator by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. Multiply the numerator. 4 times 4 is 16. So now I have two fractions here. I have 15 twentieths, 3 fourths equals, and I have 4 fifths, which is equal to 16 twentieths. 16 twentieths is greater than 15 twentieths, so 4 fifths is greater than 3 fourths. If I pull my candy bars away, I can see that the 4 fifths is greater than the 3 fourths. And if I wanted to analyze how much greater it is, this little component right here, this little component is 1 20th larger. And that's how you're going to compare two fractions using the least common multiple.